Um, I actually may just put a little dodge in the eyes, always using my dodge tool, 10% around the iris just to lift the whites, but not too white, and just to lift that little golden brown in her eyes. All right, so I'm going to save this. You're going to give it to me on a yes. USB stick? I'm going to call it Felix. All right. So anybody want to ask me any questions about how I cloned that so quickly while I'm transferring this? Or anything about Photoshop? How are you so amazing, Sue? That's my biggest question. <laughs> Come on, I want an answer. I'm just kidding. Uh, I work at it. <laughs> that was the answer I was looking for. There we go. It's hard work. How long have you been doing Photoshop? Um, so I, I tested the beta version of Photoshop and it wasn't called Photoshop. What was it called? Uh, what was it called? No, it was called Color something, Photo something. And then it became Photoshop. And I, I said to everybody, don't worry, it's not going to take on. It's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I, I bought um, Martin Evening is an author that does these Photoshop tomes, giant books about Photoshop, and I actually bought that and I sat and I was like, I'm going to do an hour of Photoshop education a day, and I sat and learned all about layers one hour at a time. Now you guys have these Creative Live courses that you can buy. Instead of buying the book for 30 bucks, buy the course and they'll introduce you to everything you need to know about Photoshop. So that's a resource I didn't even have. And I think once you get the basic gist of all the layers and everything, which is what people get confused about, it kind of runs away from you. Once you get the basics, everything else becomes kind of much simpler. It's a funny thing. There's a million different ways to Photoshop. So, yeah. you know, tips and tricks really just come down to personal choice yeah. and what you like. Um, most of it is trial and error. And I feel like most photographers nowadays are spending a lot of time on Photoshop. Too yeah. much. More time much. on Photoshop and Facebook than um, actually shooting. Well, the big thing is also don't zoom in at, you know, 300% and try to retouch the skin. That's uh, it's not going to get you very far. Okay, so while Felix is loading that, I'm going to keep retouching. So I'm actually going to do this little highlight. I'll take my highlight from the left side of her face and just blend that in nice and slowly. I'm just going to pop that up. I really go along that line of the shadow on the face. It is a hard line and I want to smooth it out. And I just want to flick along here and just clean up that little bit of skin. I tap around. I'm using sort of the pressure on my Wacom tablet is something you cannot show people because you cannot feel how hard I'm pressing. Um, remember, I always, always, always clone at 100% opacity with the flow at 30%, not the other way around. Your Photoshop will open with the other way, it'll open at 30% flow and, I'm uh, sorry, 30% opacity and 100% flow and I swap that around and you'll get a nice, even, soft brush, um, nice, quick skin retouch. And remember, this image, Maddie was lean, but remember the image that we saw was significantly um, altered around this area. There was no way, even for a lean body, unless she was another foot taller, could I have made her look more slim from the side in this position. So I lasso, copy and paste, um, command T, right click, warp, and I can just take this area back. Just be aware you are stretching pixels and you are stretching sequins. Um, so just look for any movement there. And as always, once I find the exact shape that I want, so I'm just tucking in that waist, I'm going to go to my erasing tool on that layer at 90% and just scoot back so that I've got real pixels coming through there. And then my only stretch is really keeping that outer line. And with um, the Veronica Lake image of Tamara, I actually um, highlighted her breast line because I noticed the Hollywood images were all about the boobs. And so I kind of went up like this and made the boob line more prominent because it seemed to be more in that era. They were very pointed bras and- Rocket boobs? Yeah, rocket boobs and, and just sort of launched it off a little bit. So that's where I am there. But this image really needs nothing else other than I'm gonna to go to my healing tool and I'm maybe just going to touch down a couple of the really bright sequins because they make you look and you don't want any distractions from that beautiful face. 